Google is paying a stipend of $1,500 to over $3,300 to students like you who want to get into open source contributions. GSOC, which stands for Google Summer of Code, is finally out for 2023 and the registrations are right now open. So if you want to become a contributor, then watch this video till the end because I'll be talking about every single thing. I'll be talking about the eligibility criteria. I'll actually pick up a project and show you how you can contribute to it so that you get accepted as a contributor fast. So everything will be talked about over here and everything in between. So let us go over to my laptop and see how it will play out okay so as you can see we are on the official website of google sum of code 2023 program it has been announced right now so go check the link in the description box below before it's too late okay so here you can see that it is a 12 week programming project and you will be mentored by so mentors right and all of these different organizations currently we had uh, 800 plus open source organizations we had 18,000 plus mentors and 19,000 plus new contributors from over 112 countries so I would definitely recommend you guys to check it out of course with all of these things like when you start contributing through Google Sum of Code, not only you get the advantage of, you know, being a GSOC contributor, but also you can get stipend along with it. So you actually get stipend, you actually get paid to become a GSOC contributor. And we'll be talking about this also. So here you can start registering and becoming a contributor. And let's look at the open source organizations that are currently participating in 2023. But before that, let's look at the schedule. So over here, we can see that from March 20th, which was yesterday, uh, GSOC contributor application period had begun. So it is going to still be open till April 4th. So you have very less time. Just go over there, uh, apply for GSOC contributor application. The deadline is quite close. And once you apply to these different organizations, you would then be ranked according to your GSOC contributor rank and this will happen on april 27th so go over there and start contributing and applying to these different organizations now apart from this let's first look at if you are even eligible to participate in gsoc or not so over here we have the frequently asked questions which is what are the eligibility requirements for participating now you must be 18 years of age first of all and you should be eligible to work in your country which most of you guys might be i'm assuming and you must be an open source beginner so over here they are specifically telling you that you need to be a beginner or a student you can't be an advanced person who knows entirety of open source coding and open source contributions and you have been contributing for a long time you cannot have that right you need to be a beginner and you have not been accepted as a gsoc contributor before this particular program so if you have not been a gsoc contributor in the past then you are eligible for participating now another thing is how do you know if you are a beginner in open source development a beginner is basically a person with minimal open source experience and there are certain criterias below it you can possibly check this out but uh, the link would be down in the description box below so if you want to you know learn about it in detail you can go check that out but let's move ahead and see all the organizations that are participating by the way at the end we will also be talking about the stipends and how it will be uh, playing out so let's go over to the organizations and see which are the organizations that are participating in 2023 so here we have so many organizations there's zulip there's videolan there is you might probably recognize this right then we have enigma team we have so many different projects right and you can actually sort all of these projects uh, i had a friend who had participated with the uh, genome foundation also so there are so many different projects according to which is the software or the framework that you're most comfortable with or which is the programming language that you know so here you can actually change what type of organization you are looking to contribute to web end user applications data security and all of these things we can probably keep it web or you can even search using your preferred programming language for example if you are someone who knows python all of these organizations 
have a requirement of an open source contributor who knows python right so say for example django django is a web framework which is used to build web applications using python so here you can see that uh, i'll just go over here and django software foundation say for example you wanted to you know contribute to django as an open source contributor how do you do that first of all you go over to the contributor guidance and read it completely okay many people miss out on this and i would highly recommend you guys to just check this one out and uh, start reading it because over here you'd understand what is the requirement that they want and what type of contributors are they looking for so once you read this you can go over to say the website or something and they would probably have a github link right so over here we have the github link and let's see if we can you know see any repositories or something which we can contribute to so this is the main django framework and i think the issue section has been closed so let's actually take another repository uh, for better understanding so say we have the django project.com right uh, this has a lot of contributions and a lot of activity so let's see in the issues section you can then go over and select a good first issue we have a good first issue over here we have other issues which have not been labeled yet but uh, over here you can see there is add click to copy text for commands present in the official django website so this entire repository this entire code that you're seeing is for this particular website right which is uh, djangoproject.com the website that you saw on the official django page this website's entire source code is this particular repository right so over here there is an issue which states that you know in the codes there is no option to click to copy the entire code so over here i probably might find it in the first section or maybe i'd have to go to some uh, documentation let me see if i can see it yeah installation guide right so over here as you can see if i wanted to say copy this code right i can't copy it using a button there should be a button over here and i could just click on that button and the entire code would be copied uh, that is not there i have to select this press command c in order to copy and then paste it uh, somewhere else but uh, over here they have raised this exact same issue which is you need to add the click to uh, copy button so there is no assigning and you can see it over here as well so you can probably go over down and comment your thoughts about it how you would be able to solve it and figure out ways in order to add that button for the entire website probably they would have given some solutions as well and then later you can then make a pull request so basically you'd have to fork this entire website i've actually talked about all of these things in another video so you can go check that out it's called how open source contributions will change your life so just go check that video out it covers entirety of all the things that i'm talking over here so if you want to contribute you have to fork this particular repository open another branch make some changes and then open a pull request and once your pull request gets accepted you would then become a contributor right so why are you doing all of these things the reason why i'm telling you to do all of these things is because it increases your chances of being on the django software foundation team as a google summer of code contributor so if you want to become a contributor you have to do all of these things right so the next thing is how much do you actually get paid right i know you guys have been waiting for this so let's just go over to the contributor stipends for 2023 so over here you can see that it is divided for a 16 week project evaluation which occurs after 8th week okay so here as you can see uh, this is for the standard 12 week projects and usually on gsoc's uh, organizations you'd find 12 week programs only then we have the first evaluation which gets paid like 45 percent of your entire stipend will be paid on july 14th and then 55 percent of it will be paid on 5th september so there are two evaluations that happen and there is a minimum 1500 usd to a maximum of 3300 us dollars amount okay so uh, let's go down and by the way if it's a large project they even pay from 3000 us dollars to a maximum of 6600 us dollars now the stipend depends on uh, the country that you're living in or the country that you'd be working on the project for from 
right so here medium size projects and then there are large size projects so let's just go down to india and i'll show you how it's different from uh, usa or something like that so here you can see uh, 1500 dollars for a small size project so for the 12 week program you'd get paid 1500 dollars and a maximum of three thousand dollars for people living in india and for people from us or any other countries you can probably just scroll down and look at your country but uh, over here you can see for us citizens or for people working from us it'll be from three thousand dollars to over six thousand dollars so it depends on the living expenses in that particular country and depending on that there are different stipends that are given to everyone so so i hope you guys get selected for the program and please do press the like button it really helps me a lot i know you haven't pressed it yet but uh, yeah and please do subscribe if you like this video and see you in the next video you can check the entire video about github contributions that i had made recently so you can go check that out and yeah make your first contribution over there